um, speaking of uh, Mexico and uh, or Mexicans and expanding in uh, the world, we're also going into the metaverse. Have you guys heard of the metaverse? Mm -mm. Welcome to the metaverse, guys. This is like um, the simplest way that I can put it is probably just like think of the Matrix. Like it's all it's a digital like world where everything exists, just like in the real world. So you can buy land, and apparently you can now buy Chipotle. Chipotle creates burrito builder in the metaverse. So, yeah, kinda... so in in VR or in digital space, you can now make a little Chipotle burrito and eat it. Uh, you can, yeah, your your virtual self can eat it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, it sounds like the the what's the um, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? Terminator. No, Recon. Total yeah, Recon. Recon. Yeah, Total Recon. Yeah, it kind of sounds like that. Like, well, the metaverse is kind of like that. You know, what I mean, you're gonna be doing everything virtually. You're gonna be uh, uh, you can buy land in the in the uh, metaverse now. Like broke as fuck out here. What you yeah, wanna lay off yeah. rich? Screw you guys, finna go be rich real quick. Rich. <laughs> Dude, forget buying land here in the real world. Go buy some land in the metaverse. But you don't own it. What do you mean? You do, you pay for it. It's in the metaverse. That's all you. Take my money. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. Here, take my money. <laughs> dude, but companies are look, Chipotle is is in, dude. In. Chipotle, look, not only is Chipotle in, but also. So if Chipotle jumps off a bridge, <laughs> hey, they're in. That's no, what they're saying. no, but look, if Jose Cuervo jumps off a bridge, look. Then we definitely. Whoa, well, he, he knows what he's talking about. Jose Cuervo uh, <laughs> brings the first ever distillery to the metaverse. What? So you go in there and drink. You go in there and just uh, look at what uh, Jose Cuervo's got going on in the metaverse. That's crazy. <clears throat> Jose Cuervo. Uh, so let's see. Jose Cuervo, the world's number one tequila brand, announced that it will open the first distillery in the metaverse as the first tequila producer and founder of the still operational oldest distillery in Latin America. Cuervo will open the very first meta distillery in the 3D virtual world Decentraland this summer. This is rich just people too, are crazy, too man. Wild for me, like I can't. I mean, you got to be rich in order to have to be in any of that, no? Uh, I mean, you gotta have smarts. No, I'm just kidding. Look, what they're doing with metaverse is uh, they're creating a whole new economy. You know how, how everything's going to shit right now, like in the real world, mm -hmm. like. They have all that virtual money, all that, that, that virtual money that, is, that Bitcoin stuff is all that. Exactly, it's a way to counterbalance how shitty the real world is. You know what I mean? So they're like, let's just create new economies, and how do we create it? By just creating a virtual new world. You know what I mean? So uh, in, in a point, it's kind of genius. I'm scratching my head on that one for real, real. Because look, because <laughs> look, if, if Metaverse wasn't around and companies yeah. weren't buying into it, like what else would they be buying into? Like right here in the real world, they don't have anything. Mm -hmm. The Metaverse is the new hottest thing. To uh, buy into. So basically, the real world is monopolized already. Type. It's like we're already fucking exhausted. It's just old. It's just, <laughs> and oh, it just keeps on going down. I don't know, but uh, look, another way to think about it is, um, you know how uh, in 2000 and, or 1999, uh, the dot com thing blew up, or like the internet blew up. Mm -hmm. Well, the metaverse. This is kind of like the inception of the dot com thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the next big, the next yep. big thing. Yep, yep. We're about <laughs> to. Was it the, what was, the Y2K? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Y2K? <laughs> Y2K. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, but yeah, dude, uh, uh, this, is not, this is not bullshit. Uh, Cuervo and Chipotle, that's how you know it's not bullshit. Yeah. All right, man? Major companies, yeah, they're international. They're, they're worldwide. Yeah, and let me show you why. Let me show you why. <clears throat> uh, Doja Bank. Uh, is it Doja? I think it's do Doja. It looks do like it says Douche. Douche. Douche Bank is the first bank to forecast a U.S. recession. Let's see what this guy's talking about. Uh, uh, Douche Bank uh, or uh, Doja Bank is a... Uh, Bank is warning restrictive... Doja Bank. ...will trigger a U.S. recession. First such warning from a major Wall Street bank, the author of the report... Wall Street, Wall Street is down. Look at fucking how low that was. You see that? Did you see how open my beer? See how open my beer was lighter. When you said we no longer see the Fed achieving a soft 
landing. And you're looking, admittedly, it's some way out at the end of 23, but you're now saying that a recession is likely. Yeah, thanks so much for, for having me. I think certainly talking about a recession after the job report that we got on Friday, which was strong, seeing the economy add over 400,000 jobs. We've been adding 600,000 jobs on average over the past several months, with the unemployment rate falling to 3.6%. So in that context, talking about a recession seems a bit surprising. But really, I think it's about the imbalances that have built in the economy. It is the fact that inflation is at 40-year highs, the fact that the labor market, the unemployment Yeah, you're saying in general, uh, shit's going down. You know, there's more jobs. Um, so we're going to go through a little recession. See, this is why I think something like Metaverse is kind of, you know, okay. Because, like, it balances out like shit. When, when motherfuckers in the real world don't know how to fucking uh, handle the control economy. it or run it. Yeah, exactly. We can offset it with this new kind of <coughs> currency. I mean, that's why I think NASA should always fucking be on, like, the cutting edge of, like, you know, getting new shit. How dare you!